What is up, everybody? I am getting ready to go on a road trip for the week into Washington State. I am super excited, and Shorty is coming with us. I thought it would be a lot of fun to do a packing video of what I pack when my dog travels with us. I had mentioned something about a video similar to this in the summer months, and a few of you seemed interested, and so I thought, well, great. We're getting ready to travel again, so let's do it. Um, obviously, I pack different things throughout the year depending on where we're going and the weather and all that. Like in the summer months, obviously, I wouldn't take fleece blankets and sweaters for the dog. But here we are in fall and the weather is a mixed bag of everything. So I got to be prepared for it all because it's going to be colder in the evenings where we're going and there is a chance of rain one of the days and so on. So got all kinds of stuff surrounding me here that I'm going to pack. I'm hoping that I could get most of it in this bag here for her just to make things easier. And if I have to, I will also take her carrier and we could put like a canvas tote from the grocery store inside. And if I need her carrier, then I could take the canvas stuff out anyway, yada, yada, yada. So by the time you guys are watching this, I will already have been back from my trip. I'm pre-recording this right now. I'm getting ready. I'm packing. We leave in two days from the date that I'm recording this. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so I have a lot to do today. Uh, we are here. Since this is coming out after I get back, I, I feel safe about explaining a little bit about our trip. I'm not going to go into full detail because I want you guys to watch the travel vlogs, obviously. I um I will be vlogging every single day of our trip daily. And so the road trip daily vlogs will start on Monday. And I will be uploading Monday through Friday every day, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I'm going to do that till the end of the month. Just to get through all the road trip vlogs and all the Halloween plans we have on the weekends. I am not uploading at all on Saturday and Sunday. That will be my free time to have fun and catch up on things. So just Monday through Friday, starting this Monday till Halloween. And actually, there'll be a few Halloween vlogs that are going to spill into November, which is fine because November is that boring month in between holidays where not a whole lot happens anyway. So having a few Halloween videos spill into November is great. That helps me not have to struggle with coming up with footage. So whoo -hoo, bonus. <laughs> so the plan is uh, we're going to leave Portland, Oregon. We're going to make a quick stop in St. Helens, Oregon for just a few minutes to, to visit a friend and uh, get some photos of Shorty and then be on our way into Washington with a stop in Aberdeen. And then we're gonna go up the coastline and we're gonna make a stop in, I hope I say this right, Kalalak or Kalalach, or I, I, I apologize if I say any of these places wrong. Um, after that, we're gonna go into Forks, La Push, Port Angeles, Sequim. I think that's how you say Sequim. Port Townsend, and then we're taking a ferry across to Whidbey Island to Fort Casey. Gonna go through Coopville and then up and around. Stop in Everett, Redmond, Seattle. Ferry across to Bremerton, and then driving down to Lakewood. And then there's a possibility we might go over to uh, Mount Rainier National Park depending on time and how we feel and then come home. So we're doing like a loop around the peninsula. Really excited. So now that that's all out of the way, let's get to what we pack for Shorty when she travels with us. So the first thing and the most important thing is the seat cover that goes in the back seat of the car where she will be. It's really hard to show the full thing, so you get the idea. <laughs> and then with her car seat, I'm going to put 
a dog bed. I got this cute little pumpkin dog bed a couple years ago at Ross for like $8. It was marked down. So this is going to be in the back seat with her. Perfect for Halloween time. So she has a nice comfortable place to sit and lay while we're driving for many hours. We also have a pumpkin fleece blanket for her. I got this at Target recently. So cute and super soft. So the whole back seat's going to be all pumpkined up. <laughs> and the other most important thing is a bag of dog food. And then I have a, a clip that we will use once it's opened. I'll roll the bag and close it with a clip. Hi, Shorty. You curious little girl. I have my water bottle bag that I use whenever we go hiking because we are going to do some hiking in the Olympic National Park and hopefully Mount, Mount Rainier. I almost said Mount Tabor. That's here. That's just up the road. <laughs> Mount Rainier National Park. So um, this holds a water bottle and then it's got a pocket that's perfect for my cell phone. I've attached Shorty a little portable water bottle and then there's some hand sanitizer and perfect. So that is a must take with us. I have to pause really quick because somebody is inside. Okay, sorry about that. I, I wasn't sure if Shorty was going to react and start barking. So we're good. Back to it. Where was I? Uh, packing a ba bandana for Shorty. It's the Bark Ranger bandana that we bought for her earlier in the year. We are hoping to do the Bark Ranger program again at one of the national parks in Washington while we're there. So we'll bring that for her. I'm bringing her a little pumpkin hoodie because it is going to get cold at night. So that'll help keep her warm. And then since it is Halloween spooky season, I'm packing a little outfit for photo opportunities for her. So I have the little witch hat that I crocheted for her. We have her little pumpkin backpack and her little wicked sweet candy corn dress. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I thought she was going to actually bark more. Neighbor honked their alarm. Uh, we have a raincoat for Shorty because there is a chance of rain one of the days. We are going to be up near the rainforest. So, pretty cool. Uh, this is a scoop for the food. Another collapsible bowl for water. We've got some these little wet food. When we travel with her, she tends to get weird and doesn't always eat her kibble, her dry food. So we have learned that we buy uh, the little wet food and we'll mix it in with the dry and she'll definitely eat. So I give her half of these at each feeding. So half in the morning, half at night. And I've got enough for a week here. This is the Canada Petite for small breeds, grain-free, yada, yada, yada. A bag of T-R-E-A-T's. I can't say the word because she knows that word. She also knows the sound of the bag because there she is. <laughs> uh, we have a toy. You have to wait. This is for the trip. Brand new toy. We have some anxiety, stress, calming chews for her. A spare harness, just in case. You never know. Haven't needed it yet, but I like having it just in case. Um, food bowl. We are totally going pumpkin theme. This is her water bowl. Or, yeah, I guess it is her water bowl because this bottom piece pops off and becomes a bowl. So I put water in this and then water bowl. Uh, 
um, we have a, a placemat to put her food and water on when we're in hotels just to keep the carpet dry. Um, miscellaneous bag of stuff here. Let's, let's open this up. Move the food so it's all together. Sorry, baby. I didn't mean to just bump you with that. So we have a first aid kit. Poop bags. Uh, a lint remover. Some more poop bags. Uh, this is paw protection. It looks like lip balm, but it actually, you rub it on the bottom of their pads of their feet to protect them from the heat on the, the pavement or snow or various other things of that sort. Um, I, I could probably leave this at home. This is dog sunscreen with aloe vera moisturizer. Since it is fall, I don't need this, so I'm going to put that to the side because we don't need sunscreen in October. Not where we're going. Uh, I'm bringing a cable tie out so that we can uh, have her outside when we're out. Uh, uh, one of the places has like outdoor seating, picnic-y table area that would be fun to sit and just crochet and relax. So she can sit out there with me with that. Here's a, a lid for uh, the can... Canada wet food. Um, we have some wipes. So when she gets dirty, I could just wipe down her feet and legs and whatnot. Um, she is going to get a bath before we leave and then probably another one when we get back. So in between, we'll just wipe her as because she is going to get dirty if, we're, if it does rain that one day. Um, bringing a can of pet odor eliminator Febreze in case she has an oopsie in the hotel room and it smells. Oh, we don't have to smell it. <laughs> and speaking of, I do have a pack of pads. These are pee pads for the hotel room. Uh, I packed enough for each night that we'll be in a hotel room. Most of the time she'll be outside with us, so I don't have to worry too much. This is just mainly at night while we're sleeping. And then we're packing a towel. So this is a towel set, the microfiber. I love these towels for travel. And the last thing here that I might bring, but I'm not sure yet, is her, her carrier. And then Shorty herself. Are you excited? Are you excited to go on a road trip? I think she's going to be super excited for part of the road trip. We are meeting up with some friends and they have dogs too. So she'll get to play. It's going to be so much fun. Really looking forward to it. So I hope you enjoyed today's video of what I pack for my dog when she travels with us. I hope you'll stick around and watch all of the road trip travel vlogs coming up next week and all the Halloween videos and just random life videos in general. So if you're not subscribed already, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know you're here. Say hi, whatever. I love interacting with you guys. So I hope you'll have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.